Hi everyone, and today in the spotlight are machines, and more precisely, their power units. From the largest and up to incredibly huge engines with power in dozens of horsepower. The biggest diesel engine, the biggest automobile and motorcycle engine, and the world's largest jet engine. This, and much more interesting you, will see in our today's release. Here goes. The name of the largest marine engine in the world. Its weight is 2,300 tons. The length of the motor is almost 87 feet. Height 44 feet. This 14-cylinder monster produces 108,876 horsepower and is used in huge container ships. The turbocharged two-stroke diesel engine running a fuel-only fuel consumption of which is 13,000 liters per hour. The vessel with a capacity of 8 to 10,000 tons driven by the only such marine diesel generator easy develops 25 knots more than 30 miles per hour. An enthusiast named Simon Whitlock set a goal to build not only a powerful but extremely powerful motorcycle. For assembling this superbike, he had to disassemble 16 Kawasaki motorcycles for spare parts and then to combine the engines into unity. As a result, it turned out a 48-cylinder engine weighing almost one ton. Absolute devoid of practical sense, the motorcycle is an exceptionally masterpiece of technical creativity. It's doubtful whether that anyone will be able to ride normally on such a motorcycle. Certainly, sellers don't expect to sell their marvel. This masterpiece was created exclusively for the soul, the author says. Mike Garich adores to romp with cars, and his childhood dream was to do something incredibly big and powerful and extraordinary. And then finally, enthusiast finally created a supermotor nicknamed Big Mike. He put together two 12-cylinder engines, Detroit Diesel, and created the monster of his childhood dream. He received a tremendous engine capacity of 3,420 horsepower, which he equipped truck Peterbilt. Mike says, I take two motors, which are usually equipped with sports boats. I connect them together. I add here eight superchargers and then some amount of cylinders with nitrous oxide. It looks so absurdly and ridiculous and that's why it's awesome. The largest engine in the world in the history of cars. In the distant 1909, the German company built a car Blitzen Benz, which translated means lightning Benz. It was designated for racing and set a world speed record with an 8-cylinder 22-liter engine that produced 200 horsepower. With his help in November 1909 on the Brooklands track in England, set a world speed of 125 miles per hour. Later, the French driver Arthur Durer on the line in Austin reached a top speed of 139 miles per hour. But this record was not counted, being that the pilot couldn't repeat it on the way back. In 1910, the company Fiat hoped to break the speed record of Germany. Then, model S76 Turin Monster was born, and only with one purpose, to break the bits and blends record. Fiat attacks and puts on the car engine with an incredible volume 28 and a half liters. As a result, 300 horsepower, an outstanding figure for 1910, eventually in 1911, Fiat set his record when he reached a speed of 124 miles per hour. According to unofficial data in 1912, on Long Island in the United States set a record of 186.4 miles per hour. Restorer Duncan Pittaway accidentally found one of the chassis in Australia and combined it with an engine that remained from the second car. Now we'll see how to start this monster, though here in the main thing is to hear. The guy cranking the crankshaft should have a remarkable courage because that a reverse flash could launch it into low orbit. Now we see an amazing part of automotive history.
golly, a BMW with a 46 liter engine. It is said right after the First World War, some Germany madmans decided to create a one-of-a-kind race car on a BMW airplane motor. It was a 46-liter 12-cylinder V-unit, which weighed 1,124.3 pounds, 5.9 feet long, and 3.6 feet high. At the time, in Germany, military aircraft were forbidden, and it was impossible to find such an engine, but the enthusiasts still managed to get it. Construction of the car took several years, and this happened. Brutus, the name of a new car. According to the museum, the engine produces 500 horsepower at 1,500 RPM, and the fuel consumption is one liter for 0.6 miles. Hence, the sports car had to require a huge gasoline tank. The world's largest jet engine. This mover, installed now in between two reinforced concrete structures on the test site, is the first prototype and at the same time, the largest jet engine in the world today. The diameter of the GE9X engine blades is 9.8 feet. Such motor is capable of producing 45 tons of jet thrust. The GE9X engine has the title of the world's largest jet engine, but it is not the record for the strength of the reactive thrust that it creates. The absolute record for this indicator is GE90115B, with the help of which was carried out the longest continuous commercial flight from Hong Kong to London lasting 22 hours and 42 minutes. The most powerful rocket engine on solid fuel. NASA tested the solid fuel accelerator of the future missile intended for manned flights, including to Mars. Ground-based test launch of the accelerator was conducted at the training ground in Utah. At startup, the flame temperature reached 2,500 degrees, and the speed of the flame coming out of the outlet was 12,000 feet per second, about 2,281 miles per hour. Within two minutes of the test, the temperature inside the engines rose as much as 6,000 degrees. The length of the accelerator was 177 feet and the diameter was 12 feet with a mass of 725 metric tons. A unique motorcycle with 24 engines from the gasoline saws Dolmer. So the group of enthusiasts from Germany has proved that their imagination is not limited. All of the 24 motors are installed in two rows of six pieces on both sides of the motorcycle. So the bike turned out to be quite long. Curiously enough, that each motor works separately from the others, and it should be started exactly as the gasoline saw, pulling the rope of the starter. And so 24 times passing from one end of the motorcycle to the other. star-shaped or radial engine whose cylinders are located radial rays around one crankshaft. The star-shaped engine is small in length and allows compactly place a large number of cylinders. In the majority it has found its application in aviation, but there are exceptions. For example, craftsmen install them on cars and motorcycles. On this red chopper is equipped with a radial engine R3600 power of 150 horses, which doesn't give it, in truth, no advantage, except that it looks all very entertaining. There goes Motobike, Australian fan of the two-wheeled vehicles. It looks like a frame with two wheels and a pipe inside. Actually inside the hidden jet engine Rolls-Royce Viper such as private jets for charter flights are equipped. The total capacity of 3,800 horsepower doesn't allow the production of such vehicles on the streets. American racer Shockley created perhaps one of the most famous and crazy trucks of our time. As a true American, Shockley acted with a grand scale in calculation for the wow effect, not regretting about half a million dollars. He took a conventional truck, Peterbilt 379, and attached to him not one, but immediately three jet engines, 
having combined them with a pyramid and sending them slightly to the sky so that they would press the car to the ground, not letting it take off. The truck name is Shockwave. Three turbo-built engines give a thrust of 9,000 pounds. This is equivalent to a capacity of 36,000 horsepower, and that is enough to accelerate a three-ton car at 372 miles per hour. Well, whole time we talking about such hulks and we'll finish on the tiniest motors in the world. Spanish engineer assembled a 12-cylinder V12 engine, which he believes that is the smallest such engine in the world. Having on hand a small amount of aluminum, bronze, and stainless steel, he spent over 1,200 hours of time designing, tracing, drilling, and processing miniature parts. All parts are connected in a simple structure with the help of 222 screws, which are all only purchased products. In addition to this 12-cylinder crumbs, he also created an 18-cylinder engine in the same scheme, which in turn consisted of 469 small parts. And his last creation, the 32-cylinder and the smallest motor in the world, which took 850 parts and 652 screws and 2,250 hours of time to assemble. This truly unique masterpiece. Thank you for watching.